Hi guys, Masa here. I am a painter at Lut and in this video I will show you how I painted this awesome sewer terrain. We have different materials such as rust metal pipes, stone and disgusting water to have fun painting. Let's do it! I will start by applying black primer to all the stone pieces. You can also use a brush or if you have a spray primer it can be faster. I will also use this black as a base coat. We don't need to spend expensive paint on this, so I will use a black primer. Wait for it to dry very well before you move to the next step. I'm applying a brown color. I remove the excess paint, but it isn't a dry brush. I want it to cover more than just the higher parts. So, here is a mixture of cheap paints, brown, yellow and black. And as this brand doesn't cover all, I apply it two layers. Now guys, look at this. Stones in nature are made by a lot of tones, not one shade of grey, right? Let's do it in our job, cause it will look much more interesting and realistic. I will use ochre tones to create color variation. to dry very well, I will dry brush with a lighter tone. To use the dry brush technique, you must apply some paint to your brush and then remove the excess with a paper towel, letting your brush almost dry. Like this, when you rub it on the surface of the model, the paint will be applied only on the highest areas, creating light, volume and increasing the details. Another easy technique that increases volume and the details is wash. But different from dry brush, you use very diluted paint to enter into the deepest areas, creating a shadow. If you want, you can use washes to create even more variation and depth. You can use for example black, brown and green shades. I'm spreading all these shades randomly. They are ready for use washes or products that make a paint washable. Or you can make one following some recipe that you can find on the internet. I'm using ready for use and the product to mix with any acrylic paint. After the wash dries very well, I applied another dry brush with the color pale sand mixed with white. I did it when I put all the pieces together to paint the sewer. I will paint the metal pipes with a rust effect. For that, I will use a product, Absolute Shipping. That will help me with this effect. But if you don't have anything like this, you can use just acrylic paint to simulate rust. I will show you this option. After 30 minutes, I apply a layer of the product. Mm -hmm. 
Then, wait for 30 minutes again. After that, I apply a layer of dark grey. The next layer is the product again, but now I didn't wait 30 minutes and rub my brush and other tools to create damage effect. You can see the underlying layer appears when you rub it. Very cool, right? On the left, there is another piece that I painted with metal acrylic paint instead of dark grey. It was the first one and I didn't like it because I thought it was a little faded. So I changed it to dark grey. Now I'm comparing and to look nicer, I will add metal paint over some grey parts. To finish the metal pipe, I'm adding black wash and breast wash. I also used some neutral earth texture to simulate moss and breast, adding some dark and light green, red and light orange tones. I repeated all the process on the other pipes and metal parts. And in some pieces I glued grass stuffed. Now, if you don't have a shipping product, you can just use paint. Here, for example, I will use black metal acrylic paint over the black primer. I'm dry brushing. Then, you can add some colors, diluted, pure. Or wash if you have. Now, let's change to the sewer. I started with a brown weaver with some toxic green over it, but it didn't work and I decided to remove and paint again. It was easy since I used a water effect product that dried like glue, forming an easy to remove film. Now, I painted with dark green.
to increase the tails, I mixed the yellow and the blue inks, making a light green. Then, I mixed this with a still water product to apply over the dark green. As a final touch, I added more yellow and made it even lighter. That's it! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you paint anything from Lutz, post on our community. You love to see your work. See you in the next one! Bye bye!